But how's the weather going to play out for us? Let's turn things over to meteorologist Erica Cato in the Weather Center, tracking it all for us. Erica. Yeah, that's right. Believe it or not, we did see a little bit of rain into the afternoon and evening hours. Here is a live look at Titan HD satellite and radar. We're still dealing with some showery activity right now in the foothills of uh, places like Jackson and Sonora. If you're out and about, you may need to use your windshield wipers, but not to worry. Everything's going to dry out for the valley as Santa makes his trek across the way. So all in all, we will start to dry things out. We could see some snow showers for the Sierra as we head into the overnight hours, but really uh, pretty much all the activity is to our north. We do have some storm systems right now, mainly impacting the Pacific Northwest, and that will continue as we head into the week with high pressure rebuilding over our area. So here's a look at current conditions. It's actually a little bit warmer than 24 hours ago. We're about six degrees warmer out the door in Marysville, four for downtown Sacramento, about five degrees warmer for the Fairfield area. I'll have a full look at your holiday forecast, and we'll talk a little bit about New Year's Eve as well coming up in just a bit. All right, Erica, thanks. And you can stay up to so iconic. You know, some of these neighborhoods or places that people are probably went to even, you know, tonight or this last week. It's been so nice. Yeah, I did catch it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know he had a website. Yeah, you can go it, though, and so. check out where, you know, because some of them are so elaborate, you want to mm -hmm. see them up close. Yeah, so. definitely. And we actually have pretty good weather for that over okay. the next week. So yeah. we really need the rain. We're not going to get it, yeah. um, but at least we'll enjoy dry conditions, and uh, that is safer for everyone traveling yeah. as well. So uh, let's take a live look at conditions at Sacramento International Airport. It is a little cloudy out there, but all in all, pretty enjoyable conditions on this Christmas Eve. As we turn our attention to today's almanac, here's a look at your highs for today. Sacramento 55 bottomed out at 42 degrees. Stockton hit a high of 56 down to the upper 30s, and Modesto came in at 55 degrees, an overnight low of just 40. So you'll probably notice that it was a little bit cooler today, but those temperatures will bounce back as we head into Christmas Day. Titan HD satellite and radar shows we are dealing with a few sprinkles out there, uh, mainly toward the foothills. We did see a few stray showers in downtown Sacramento, but that tapered off pretty quickly. In fact, we didn't see too much in the way of measurable rain. As we take a look at your forecast night for the Bay Area, Cloudy and cool temperatures right now in the low 50s, but waking up on Christmas morning, expect upper 40s, so perhaps a heavy sweater or jacket necessary. But as we head into the afternoon, it's going to be a little bit warmer than where we should be for this time of year, coming in at a high of 60 degrees. As for the valley right now, we're in the mid 40s. Expect a cloudy and cool, albeit dry night. Chilly and calm conditions as we wake up tomorrow morning. Most locations in the upper 30s to low 40s. And then as we push our way into the afternoon, mild and sunny weather, plenty of sunshine for your holiday celebrations. And toward the foothills, right now we're in the 40s. Uh, we are looking at just a few stray showers, but that's going to taper off as we head into the overnight hours. Waking up to chilly conditions, temperatures in the low 40s. And then we're going to climb our way into the low 60s as we head into your Christmas day. And for those of you heading to the ski resorts, well, we could see a few showers just south of South Lake Tahoe tonight. Dry Drier weather accumulates as we head into tomorrow morning. It's going to be a little frigid temperatures down into the 20s and then we'll see temperatures in the upper 40s as we head into your afternoon. So dry weather persists. We do have some storms to our north, but high pressure is rebuilding over our area. So we will see dry conditions and it looks like a string of 60s as we head into the week. Here's a look at that extended forecast. Not much change for the week. In fact, we'll hold on to dry conditions as we head into New Year's Eve. Sharin? And we've had mild and mostly dry conditions for the month of December, but will Santa finally bring us some rain? Of uh, the full details on that, we'll take a look at future cast coming up. So amazing to see that treasure that he has, you know, in his brain is able to keep that alive. That's awesome. Well, it's Christmas Eve. We're getting ready for Christmas tomorrow, and it looks like we don't have to deal with the rain. A lot of people hopefully are in place for their holiday destinations. Yeah, that's right. We have a few lingering showers right now, mainly in the foothills, but that'll taper off by time Santa arrives, so Perfect. he's not going to have to deal with any of that. In Perfect. fact, most of us just dealing with cloudy conditions, and it is a little bit warmer than where we were 24 hours ago. So here's a live look at conditions in West Sacramento. You'll see it's a bit hazy out there, but 
Uh, that'll clear up as we head into tomorrow morning. Expect clear conditions for your Christmas afternoon. Here's a look at current conditions. Sacramento, you're at 45 degrees. Upper 40s currently in Stockton. Modesto at 50. Mid 40s out the door in Marysville. Lake Tahoe very mild at this hour at 43 degrees. But as we take a look at Titan HD a satellite and radar again, we do have a few stray showers mainly in the foothills. We didn't see too much in the way of accumulation. In fact, uh, most of us didn't see any rain whatsoever. Just dealt with all that cloud cover. Most of the moisture is actually impacting the Pacific Northwest. Again, we just saw cooler temperatures and cloudy conditions. So here's a look at those afternoon highs for your Christmas day. A uh, plenty of low 60s across the valley. 60 in Stockton, 61 in Manteca. Tracy tomorrow hitting a high of 62 degrees. Plenty of sunshine for Sacramento coming in at 61. So again, we are trending a little warmer than where we should be for this time of year. Completely dry conditions for the foothills. Low 60s for both Jackson and Sonora. Forest Hill in the upper 50s. Low 60s in Placerville. So the sunshine will certainly make an appearance. It's going to be a little chilly for the overnight hours. We'll drop into the 20s for places like Quincy. Work our way into the upper 40s for the afternoon. And if you're heading to the ski resorts, temperatures uh, for the most part in the upper 40s to low 50s. Very enjoyable weather for the Bay Area. Low 60s for San Jose in Monterey. Downtown San Francisco hitting a high of 60 degrees. We'll see low 60s for Santa Rosa. And then just a light breeze in the forecast for Fort Bragg coming in at 60. So really not much variation in those temperatures. High pressure will rebuild as we head into tomorrow. And that means dry conditions really for the foreseeable future. As we take a look at your extended forecast, you'll notice again plenty of 60s. Not much change, a lot of sunshine, and that will pretty much carry us into New Year's Eve. Sharon? Erica, thank you. It looks nice.